Hello folks. So, I'm standing on the Castle Hill in Stirling. Alright McGuff, thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm on Castle Hill. Um, you can see behind me. Well, you can't see much behind me. The castle, Stirling Castle, historic Stirling Castle, should be in view behind me. But unfortunately, the conditions are not the best today for our um, crit on the campus. As you can see, I'm trying to hold an umbrella and my phone and uh, so I can do this live broadcast, but I'm glad the whole thing is working and that you can uh, just about see what's going on. I think I'm, I'll ditch that and get wet when the action happens. But uh, we're on the Scottish Women's Crit Champs. Uh, there's two laps to go and soon we are going to see the barriers at the top of King Street opened and uh, rather than a final lap finish, we're going to have an off lap finish up the hill to the castle. And as you can see behind me, there's cobbles and I will just flip my camera. And as you can see in front, there's cobbles. So it's a pretty brutal finish for the riders. And um, the pre-race chat was that Sarah Bradford of Team Jaden was one of the strongest climbers and was, was, was maybe was maybe expected to um, to win this uphill finish but from what I can understand there was a bit of a crash maybe a bit of a um, a bit of a coming off that she had and uh, so she she was no longer in the mix and um, so as it was we had Nia Evans of Glasgow wheelers out in front who was pushing hard and um, pulled a couple of the Jaden riders along team Jaden uh, women's team and we had Rona Callender and Jenny Hall who were on her wheel and then at some point around the course Jenny f uh, sorry Rona fell away whether that was a, a small crash or a bit of a um, bit of a mechanical I'm not sure but uh, all of a sudden she was no longer in that front group of three and um, so uh, I think it's possible that she maybe took a lap out for a mechanical and rejoined the front, uh, but it's hard to get an exact view of what, what's happening um, when, you, when, you're, when you're at the other end of a course. Um, so I'm just going to keep on talking and uh, do my best footballer impression. Here we've got a couple of photographers and uh, um, Marshall's just coming past us there up to the finish to see how far away are they by the way? Nope. They didn't hear me, not to worry. Um, now that is a worry that there are cars coming down. Marshall! Marshall needs to be stopping those cars. Passing Victoria Square now, that's awesome. So they'll be doing one more lap. Um, they'll go around the back and uh, they will... Um, Guys, you need to be stopping those cars, I think. Don't you need... The barriers are now open, yeah? Okay, so the barriers are open. They'll be coming up next lap. Cool. So any more cars that come through, we think we need to stop those, probably. Yep. So, just a wee bit worried that... Um, but those guys didn't didn't quite realise they don't have a radio, so um, they are gonna they're just gonna head off those cars at that pass. So thanks for bearing with me. I've got 16, 19 live viewers. Just give you a couple of shout outs um, if I can see you. Craig Manson, Pamela Hardy, George Freeman, uh, McGuff. Thanks for thanks for joining in. I've got got quite a few people watching live. There we've got uh, Scottish Cycling lead car. And that's Nori in the car, and Nigel the announcer. So they'll be coming up here any moment now, and hopefully I'll be able to get you some half-decent uh, footage. There's a few Sterling Light Club supporters. We've got a Bank of Scotland umbrella. It's uh, on brand with the right colour, at least. And uh, here we have a couple of cars just coming around the castle, and we're going to have to stop those because there's a race coming up here any second now so we're going to hope the drivers will be cooperative and not rant and rave uh, there's someone turning just turning back round to go back down the other end and now we've got a lead motorbike so that means it's all very pro we've got um, riders coming any minute now so there's your lead motorbike uh, 
and you might be able to hear the dulcet tones of um, Nigel Hall, who is a uh, volunteer of virtually every race. I can hear cowbells, and I can hear people coming up the hill. I think the racers are any minute here. We know the last time. And it looks like Nia Evans. So it's Nia Evans of Glasgow. But she also had this sting in the tail, this hill. And I have to say the crowds as we've just driven up the course. Oh, yeah, you're almost there. Looking like she's on it, she's on top of it. I would say it's it's a little bit murky up here. Yep. She's got this one, Nia Evans. Here come the other riders. Laura Gillies. We've got VC Astar under side tools. Now these riders probably won't be the leaders. Some of them will have been lapped and will have come through the barriers. We've got Sterling Bike Club suffering up the cobbles there. Yeah, we've always got a slightly confusing situation as we've got a circuit race with the barriers then opening so we'll have lapped riders and drop riders coming through before the first three but we've got live go on jill we've got live event timing systems here so we'll be able to work it all out we'll be able to work it all out very soon after and here comes uh, teen jason jenny hall I think she is probably the second place rider that's Jenny Hall. I think she was second in second place. We've got, we got Christine of Sterling Bike Club. Forrest Cycling Club. Uh, a bit of, bit of bias from the announcer there for the second place rider. Uh, but he is her dad, so that's fair enough. We've got Loudon Phoenix. Go on, Rona. That's Rona Calendar. I think we're probably in third place there. And there's the winner up there celebrating with her friends. Nia, Nia Evans. I'll give you a shot of the finish now. Let's actually go up there now give you a proper view of the finish. You can listen to the dulcet tones of Nigel Hall who is um, very, very good. calling out. Pedal power finishing as well, fantastic. Oh, Again, that's you, that's you. The There's another rider coming, two riders coming out of the gloom. That's uh, Janet Erskine, I think. And we've got Sarah Bradford. And Janet's here as well. Finishing her ride. She's probably tipped to start on, with. Very, very, on, very, very strong come rider. On, Sarah, coming at you. Come on, really good. Good finish. Well done. You're there. Well oh, done. You're there. Emma Borthwick, well done, line. Emma. Great finish. Yes, Glasgow Green Circle Cup finishing the on the pizza mellow. What a bike to ride. But there he is. I'm sure there's more cyclists to come yet. But the gloom won't allow us to see them yet, yet a while. We can hear this all over. I'll tell you what, you could be on the top of Mont Blanc too, could be on a day like today. I think there's a castle there. Look at those alpine hills all around you, Let's have a wee look at the finish. And if I'm not too obtrusive... There's Rona finished. For those that are down in the relative luxury of the nice weather down below, below us in Stirling, you should see the carnage of bodies lying all over the car park here. As Eleanor Strathdee comes up the hill showing some great style on the cobbles. Well done, Eleanor. We've got bodies littered everywhere. That tells you how hard that race is. Come on, Eleanor, all the way over the line. What a great finish by Eleanor Strathdee. Well done indeed. Getting great support from her club mate Emma Borthwick as well. Really good. Nice one, Emma. Good to see. Teammates have a debrief there, looking pretty broken. But you can see what this race has taken out of people. Sarah, the probably a bit upset lot. as to having missed the front group. I'm not sure what the issue was. There was maybe a little bit of a crash or a mechanic or something earlier in the race. Pretty tough finish for everyone. So I hope you enjoyed all that live streaming please that it all worked okay we're on periscope mate
if you were on periscope, I think I'm just probably just going to finish it off. But did you get get some good shots. Yes. Yep. Got some shots. Excellent. Great stuff. Did you see anything? No. But it will certainly make for some uh, some good photos. The ones that do come out in these uh, epic conditions. So, so yeah, thank, thanks to everyone who's tuned in. And check out in about an hour or so for the men's. I'll do the same thing again. So thank you very much. Over and out.